transmission. Something important has come up. We've got a Soviet spy. Are you good at what you do? This will be a first for the both of us. You should be careful. Hi. Welcome again to another episode of FACO. This week we'll be reviewing a, a film that's no, no longer playing in the cinemas but is out on our DVD and Blu-ray. Blu so we're reviewing Bridge of Spies. Directed by Steven Spielberg. It's a thriller with um, Tom Hanks, James B. Donovan. Yeah. Right? He's a insurance lawyer. Yeah. Okay? He does insurance cases for the insurance companies. So basically, his role is to resist claims. So he, he starts off sort of a national service thing. They appoint him to be a sort of a public defender to represent Abel, who is a Russian spy who was uh, uh, arrested. And uh, he was reluctant. He didn't want to do it because he's not a criminal lawyer. Well, he used to be, yeah. but on the prosecution side. So uh, eventually, he he agrees to it because the the concept of it is that even if Abel is a uh, Russian spy, he is entitled to the freedom and the, uh, what they call the rights. Yeah. So it's a, so uh, uh, to to uh, to show the uh, uh, the the greatness of the American democracy. Yes. He was to be given a fair trial mm -hmm. with uh, with a lawyer that that is uh, that is credible. Right? Yes. James Donovan actually went yeah, all yeah. out yeah. and he did his level best yeah, to his detriment. Yeah. So, I mean, the, the movie starts off there. That's, that's, that's how it's more or less. That's the first hour, first yeah, act. Actually. First act. It's based on a true story. The screenplay is done by the Coen brothers. Uh, what happens next is that through a series of events, an, an American pilot gets caught in Russia. The spy plane was down yep. by, by sort of surface to air missile mm -hmm. and the, uh, the pilot was caught. And so James Donovan was given the task of negotiating an exchange. Yeah. Uh, there were back channels and uh, communication and all. It's it's like remember Tinker Tailor Soldier yeah, it's Spy. Yeah, like I say it's almost like a Le Car novel turned into a film sort of thing. And, and you know I think the direction by Steven Spielberg is it's sort of like when he did Schindler's List and Private yeah. Ryan, I guess. It wasn't too slow. It started off okay, and then it just sort of. Yeah, it drew you in and it was gripping and, and no one exploded or anything like yeah. that but it was great. Uh, and, uh, and I think the, the, the brilliance of this movie is the humour. Yeah. The subject matter was not funny, it was no. tense but Tom Hanks could squeeze out laughter yes. uh, what they call it, in a, in a tense situation when he was in East Germany. You know, the, 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 oh, you stay in Hilton, <laughs> I, get, I get this. And the way he presented it, was, it was genuinely funny. So how many stars would you give it though? Um, I'll give it three and a half. No, uh, yeah, maybe four. I think it's not action packed, but for what it is, it really is quite a good movie. So yeah, I'll, I'll give it four. It reminds me a lot of yeah, Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy, and then the other one, there's this the UN thing with Sean Penn and Nicole Kidman. Right? Interpreter or translator? Uh, the interpreter. Yeah, right? it's something like that as well. As always, you know, it, this can only be done uh, with a European setting, I suppose. Yeah, I'll give it a four star. I think I think it it, it deserves uh, 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 high praises of proper storytelling. I mean, it's, a lot of it is historical, but yet you knew that they would made it, make it back, but it was still gripping. Yeah. So here, you, you sort of know what's going to happen at the end, yeah. but it still grips you. It's still, yeah. There's still drama, there's still tension. Yeah. Okay, so we're done. I'll see you again next time. Cheers.